Man, I am full of ideas. I just can't be stopped. Today on Top 5 Friday, we're going to look at my top five fall alternatives. <laughs> See what I did there? Welcome back to J Royal, everyone. My name is James. This, of course, is Top 5 Friday. Every Friday, I do a top five fragrance list, and this Friday is no different. There are so many awesome fall fragrances out there, and a lot of them have been talked about quite a bit with other reviewers. So what I wanted to do was take five awesome fall fragrances and show you alternatives that I would suggest that are either from the same house or they have the same vibe or perhaps they're a higher niche quality alternative. Who knows what I'll do? Anyway, the number five fall fragrance I'm gonna introduce first is Chanel Egoiste, a wonderful, classy, sandalwood-based fragrance. When it was released, it wasn't very popular because it was pretty polarizing amongst a ton of fresh fragrances that were released around the same time. But now, us fragheads can enjoy it. My alternative to this one is probably the king of sandalwood these days, by Killian, Sacred Wood. Sacred Wood is essentially Sandalwood. It's sandalwood and some milkiness. I guess the milky note in this fragrance amplifies the already creamy nature of sandalwood. And honestly, this one is a compliment getter. Of all the Bikelians that I smelled, this is the one that really spoke to me. So I had to pick it up. If you like Egoist, you'll probably like this one too. My number five fall alternative, Sacred Wood. My number four fall fragrance isn't necessarily a fall fragrance specifically, but it's one that I do wear in the fall quite a bit. And that of course is Le Mal, Jean-Paul Gaultier. If you're not reaching for this, you could reach for its alternative. My number four Le Mal fall alternative, Le Mal Essence de Parfum, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now you probably expected me to pull for Ultramol. Ultramol is known as a clubbing fragrance, or so they say. I think of it more as a cold weather fragrance. It's very powerful, sweet. Le Mal SS de Parfum is an updated version of the original. It doesn't project like crazy. I wouldn't really reach for this when it gets very cold, but as an everyday fragrance, it's very, very unique. It's a nice take on the original, and it's a big compliment getter. It's one of those fragrances that people are like, ooh, what are you wearing? Ooh, yes. I actually thought the performance on it was really bad when I first tried it out of a decant, but now that I have a full bottle and I did full bottle sprays, it's about seven, eight hours, honestly. You gotta give it a bash, man. My number four fall alternative, Le Mal Essence de Parfum. My number three fall fragrance is one that I did a review on recently. It's Costume National Um. Extremely potent fragrance, not very expensive for the quality that you get. It is a clove, cinnamon, vanillic fragrance that performs and performs and performs. However, if you wanted an alternative to this, something a little higher quality, something more expensive, Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall is a great alternative. Another clove heavy fragrance. This one has more notes in it. There's more depth to it. And the performance is similar. Musk Ravageur has a heavier projection. So I would only reserve this for cooler fall days when you're feeling real cool. And also I have to mention the opening on this can be off-putting to certain people but the dry down is so worth it. Has one of the best dry downs that I've smelled in my collection. My number three fall alternative, Musk Ravageur. The number two fall fragrance that appears on a lot of people's lists, Dior Homme, the original EDT. What makes this fragrance so nice is it's very, very classy. Of course, metrosexual with the iris note, but it exemplifies fall pretty well. The whole Dior Homme line is extremely versatile and flexible because ranging from parfum all the way to cologne, you pretty much have every occasion and every season covered. In my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion, Dior Om is the clear winner for fall. However, if you want to upgrade from Dior Om, I give you my number two fall alternative, Bois d'Argent by Christian Dior. Bois d'Argent is probably one of the best uses of iris in my collection. It's a beautiful iris sandalwood fragrance that really, really stands out. It's interesting because it's one of those juices that is totally unisex, but at the same time, I don't feel feminine at all wearing it. My number two fall alternative, Bois d'Argent. The number one fall fragrance I see on a lot of people's lists, Pure Havan by Mugley. The Mugley DNA, sort of, but mostly it's a beautiful cherry sweet tobacco fragrance that performs similarly to its big brother, 
the OG. One of the all stars of the Mugler line, this fragrance seems to be loved by everyone. It has amazing reviews online for good reason, because the quality of this fragrance is very high considering the price point. But of course, obviously if you're part of the royal court, if you're hashtag loyal to royal, you know I'm the x fan. <laughs> My alternative to Pure Havan, Naxos by Zerijoff, and Pure Wood by Mugler. I wanted to give you two fragrances because most people know that Naxos is the niche quality version of Pure Havan. It is my favorite fragrance, everyone knows it. But for those who don't necessarily want to spend Zerijoff prices, Pure Havan is a great alternative. And if you already have Pure Havan, then I might recommend Pure Wood as well. Pure Wood is one of the Mugle fragrances that doesn't necessarily get talked about as much as the other ones. But for fall, it is extremely good. In general, Pure Wood is a bit smoother, a bit creamier than Pure Van, but again, it exemplifies fall really well. It's woods. There is a dash of patchouli in here as well, but it's a patchouli that I feel patchouli haters wouldn't mind. In my opinion, this is one of the most wearable, safest Mugler fragrances in my collection that still makes a statement. It's unique, it's a nice blend, and it's classy. It really is. If you like Pure Havan or you like the idea of it, check out these guys as well. My number one fall alternatives, Naxos and Pure Wood. Man, I am full of ideas. I just can't be stopped. So there won't be too many more fall videos coming up, but I will be giving you my top five Royal Court fragrances for the fall season. The five all-star fragrances that are permanent stays in my collection. So that's coming up next week. If you live in warmer climates, I also released a summer alternatives list a couple months back when it was warmer. You can check that out in the cards up top if you feel like it. All of our links to the Facebook group, Snapchat, and Instagram are down below. And if you like what you see and you haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe and like this video. Bye, peace, see ya.